In this video, I will demonstrate the syntax for property binding. Let me open app.component.html. Before implementing property binding, let me include an heading above the h1 tag to denote that the following code demonstrates interpolation. After the interpolation heading, I am going to include the next heading to represent property binding. After the heading, I am including an input button. As part of HTML syntax, the value attribute helps to define the label of your button. If I define the value as test and save the file, we can see that a button is included with label as test. Now we are going to dynamically change the label of your button using property binding. For property binding, the attribute should be enclosed with square brackets. Then in the value of attribute, we need to provide a component property. I'm going to reuse the app title which we already used for the heading. The square brackets represented here is angular specific syntax and this is how property binding needs to be implemented. I am saving the file. In the output, we can see that a button is included with the label nglearn which is the title property value defined in the component. Include the headings and this property component in your app.component.html and move on to the next video. In the next video, we will see how this functionality can be implemented using interpolation.